Now down here, I have Mr. Jules or Jamie from Jules Small Garden, his lovely, lovely long neck pumpkins. everyone welcome to my garden this year I am so excited to share this with you I also have more seeds to plant from wild edibles up in Canada yeah Canada and I want to show you something really cool that they did <clears throat> they sent me seeds thank you wild edibles and all the seeds, all the seeds are taped to the inside of this neat. So they're taped, which is really neat. So what I want to talk about today <clears throat> is we have expanded our garden. This is going to be a little bit of a longer video today, but I wanted to show you our YouTube friends garden of love that all of my YouTube friends have given me seeds this year and I wanted to share it with you I will be shouting out some names here in a minute uh, I'll show you what I have planted where why I've planted it why we've chosen to do what we do here in the garden area so let's come along with me today and let's see what we've planted in our garden this year our garden this year is actually 1800 square feet of actual garden that we've tilled our planter boxes we have expanded into 125 square feet our planter boxes mostly have herbs in them this year. The reason I did that was so that we could have herbs through the winter time and functional herbs for medicinal uses. So let's go see the rest of the garden and I'll show you a little bit about what we've done. Come on. So I have my grapevines going. They look absolutely beautiful. Uh, I wanted to show you the grapes. We are going to have a really, really, really nice harvest of grapes this year. Uh, they're looking fantastic. On this side of the garden, we have mainly corn on the inside. And you can see the rows of corn uh, that I have planted the around the outside we have actually built a new wire fencing around this whole area because of the deer and the rodents that get in here we need to secure our garden with fencing now down here I have Mr. Jules or Jamie from Jules Small Garden, his lovely, lovely long neck pumpkins are growing right here on this side of the garden. They will grow up and over and I'm really excited for them to expand out into this side of the garden. Here I have two pepper plants. My pepper plants, I did do an experiment with these pepper plants uh, this year. And I got a pepper from the store. It did not work out for me to have the pepper seeds from those plants. I could not get any of those pepper seeds to grow. So here's a purple pepper plant and another purple pepper plant that we have down here. Around this other side. Right here in this little area here, we have cucumbers. These cucumbers were given to me by 
crazed family homestead. They are uh, American cucumbers. And I'm really excited to see them grow up and over and see how they do this year on this soil. Down here on this other side here, I have gotten some, and they're already blooming, some gourds planted. Now these gourds will just be spread out and they're smaller gourds and we will see how that works out for us to have these smaller gourds planted here. Now the separation between gourds and pumpkins, gourds and pumpkin, pumpkin, you will see the difference as I walk through the other side of the garden. But they look wonderful. They're just absolutely beautiful. See, something's eating them already. I do have to put some shaker on them. I put some diamantia earth on them. If I see, you know, the bugs getting at them. We've had a lot of slugs this year. So as we walk to the other side of the garden, I do have two planter boxes down here, actually three. One planter box is for flowers. And our flowers in here, some are from Morris Patch of Heaven, and some are from Gail's Southern Living. So we'll see how those grow out. In these other planter boxes, I have all onions in here. I also have my loofah plants right here on this edge here. This planter box here, I have strictly lettuce, 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 all different kinds of lettuce. And on the edge here, I have planted flowers right along this edge here. Whole bunch of different kinds of lettuce. So over here, as you can see, it looks wonderful. We have purple beans. Now see, something's getting at them. Um, I'm gonna have to get out here and put a little shaker on them. These are actually from Black Gold Homestead with Elisha. And I have more things in here from Elisha. We have beans all through here and more beans. And on this edge over here, around this edge, I also have pumpkins from Elijah, from his homestead. They look really, really great. Um, I'm going to have to, like I said, um, put some stuff on them so that the bugs can't get them. But they're looking absolutely wonderful. In between the rows, over here, and all through there, I have planted beets in between all of the pumpkins. Now, on this side, I have planted my pumpkins, which are the giant pumpkins. And as you can see, we have beets coming in. There's a whole bunch of different kinds of veggies in through here. Um, but see, these little bugs are getting at them. So we're going to have to take care of the nasty little bugs. So in through here, what I have done is I have taken the cattle panels. I have placed the cattle panels beside each other. And one cattle panel has... Uh, my pole beans on it and Elisha has also given me some pole beans and the other side 
has my tomato plants from last year. I saved the seeds and all of these tomato plants right here are from last year's seeds. They are the Jumbo Roma tomatoes and I wanted to see for myself if they would grow and they did grow and I'm really really excited about having these tomatoes here this year and really excited to see what is actually going to happen with these tomatoes this year and see if we get a tomato harvest like we did last year. Some of these tomatoes um, are white tomatoes and purple tomatoes. So we'll see how those do in this garden. These are just brassicas right here. Some that I planted. And then over here is another set of gourds that I had. This restructuring over here is another part of the garden that we um, incorporated. Now, it was supposed to be all potatoes, but I can't find any more potatoes and I'm not gonna order them this late in the season. So I have one row of potatoes here. I have sprinkled everywhere in here, everywhere, a, all the rest of my lovely, lovely sunflowers. And I'm really excited to see those grow. Oh, look at this. I see some. I see some. Look at this, you guys. This is a gourd. <gasps> Yay! This, this is my birdhouse gourds from last year, you guys, that I didn't know if they were going to grow. They have begun to sprout. I am so excited. These are my canning cucumbers. So I, I have some American cucumbers on the other side and these are my canning and they're the small ones. So we'll see how they do over here and see I have the fencing so they can climb right up the fencing. So over next to the house, I also have my two planter beds over there full of herbs and I'm really excited to talk to you about that also. But in the meantime, let me finish out this video with saying it's a lot of work and it's good work. It's fun. I We are almost set in our gardens besides a little bit of more seeds that I just received to set our garden. I have we have a lot of animals to take care of here. We are moving, you know, compost and doing a lot of things in the barn. You know, we're harvest we'll be harvesting animals here. We have gotten in chickens, meat chickens, meat turkeys. We have our little one now. Uh, we have uh, two other little babies here on the homestead. So we've just been really busy here on the homestead. But I just wanted to give you a garden tour of all of my friends in the YouTube land that have helped me with my garden this year. Let's see how your plants grow this year in my soil. Let's, we can talk about it. I, w I love that everyone has given me so much in love and I really appreciate it. Thank you everyone out there in YouTube land and all my friends out there. Thank you. So this is called the YouTube Garden of Love this year because it wouldn't be without you guys to have this, all of this in my garden. So to wrap this up a little bit, our garden gurus today and hashtag Western New York Garden Club, we love to have you.
the garden. You all have a great day out there.